When looking at an information security program, it should include a coordinated set of activities, projects, and initiatives. These are the requirements for the implementation of the information security strategy. The objectives of this domain is to ensure that the information security manager understands the broad requirements and activities needed to create, manage, and maintain a program. If you are studying for the ISACA SISM certification, this will be approximately 25% of the total exam. So what is an information security program? Well, it encompasses all the activities and resources that collectively provide information security services throughout the organization. Since the goal of the information security program is to support the overall business, we're seeing more and more that the information security manager must have a broad scope of knowledge. To be effective, the information security manager should be operating from the executive level. This is due to the variety of tasks that usually fall on the information security manager's shoulders, like budgeting and planning and creating business case development and recruiting. And more and more, we see organizations trying to lean down their security staff, so we're seeing greater integration across all security disciplines. Uh, to meet the requirements of such a wide scope, you can see exactly why the information security manager should be operating from the executive level. Uh, unfortunately, most organizations haven't quite gotten there yet, uh, but we're getting there. If we take a step back and look at the information security program as a whole, we should find three essential elements. The program must be the execution of a well-developed information security strategy. We've already talked about that. The program should be well-designed with a cooperation and support from management and stakeholders. And it must have well-thought-out, well-developed, understood metrics so we can identify our successes and failures throughout the program. A well-executed security program will serve to effectively implement, manage, and monitor security initiatives across the organization. It should be and must be clear and effective for the program to work. This requires a great deal of planning and cooperation from all departments within the organization. Our core objectives for our information security program are key strategic alignment, uh, risk management, value delivery, resource management, assurance process integration, and performance measurement. Remember, the whole objective for the information security program is that we execute in the most cost-effective manner possible. One of the ways that we do this is by identifying the forces that drive the business need for information security. Across the industry, we find that you can really boil it down to a handful of items, like the ever-mounting requirements for regulatory compliance, higher frequency and total cost of security incidents, organizational concerns over their reputation, and the growing demands of PCI and DSS compliance. As we continue to define and implement our program, it's important to remember why we're doing it in the first place. It all must be aligned with the security strategy that we formulated with the executive management already. To effectively implement a security program, the information security manager needs to understand and have a good working knowledge of many management processes and concepts, uh, things like software development life cycles and business case development, as well as strong project management skills and some of the varying approaches and techniques when it comes to assessments. A good information security manager is absolutely qualified to make the technology decisions for the organization. However, as we indicated earlier, we don't implement technology for technology's sake. We identify where the technology fits best. Is it there for prevention or detection or containment or reaction and recovery? Every piece of technology that we deploy across the organization must have a defined scope and requirement. Looking at some of the technologies that an information security manager might be asked to deploy, we began talking about things like firewalls and antivirus systems, as well as intrusion protection systems and PKI infrastructure. As well as being familiar with technologies like WAN deployments and LAN deployments and virtualization and databases, 
For an information security program to work, you must have a strong charter in scope. The scope of the information security program should be established by the strategy that we laid out. And as for the charter, it really completely depends on the extent of management support. Without that top-down support, we are literally fighting an uphill battle. Remember, effective security goes far beyond the scope of what we would consider typical information security activities. Modern environments are much more integrated in all the security disciplines, and the information security manager must be able to talk across all departments. To do this, we have to tear down what I call the rice bowls. It's not your rice bowl, it's not their rice bowl, it's the CEO's rice bowl. We all need to be able to cooperate together, achieving a common mission. Again, this is where that management support comes in.